The Canadian made Honda CRV is all new for 2023. Obviously, it has fresh new looks. There's a new hybrid powertrain, which is available for the first time in the Canadian market, and it has a much larger interior. So, because it's so cold right now, why don't we start with the inside first? The first thing that you'll notice as soon as you step inside the 2023 Honda CRV is the striking similarity to the Honda Civic, which was updated last year. So it can be equipped with a 7-inch digital driver display, a 7-inch or 9-inch infotainment system, depending on the trim level, same climate controls and same honeycomb mesh trim that it covers the air vents. Speaking of which, I don't know if this microphone can hear it, but these climate controls have a very satisfying click to them as you use them. They feel very premium. LX and Sport trim levels have a standard 7-inch touchscreen, while EXL and Touring trim levels receive a larger 9-inch touchscreen. The physical volume knob remains and there are buttons for radio tuning as well. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, but if you upgrade to the higher trim levels with the larger screen, CarPlay and Android Auto can be connected wirelessly. Speaking of connections, there are two USB ports just in front of the shifter and an available QI wireless phone charging pad. LX and Sport trims come with black cloth upholstery, while EXL and Touring trims get black leather upholstery, with the latter also having contrasting orange stitching. The front seating position is more sedan-like for better comfort and a sportier driving feel. The back seats have an additional 15.2 millimeters of leg space for occupants. The CRV has always been one of the most spacious compact SUVs, and now there's even more room. The seatbacks also recline for added comfort, and the CRV Touring has two USB C charging ports in the back seats. Behind the seats, the 2023 CRV has more cargo capacity, 34 liters to be exact, and it also has a two tier load floor. So you just lift it, pop it down, and now it has up to 85 liters more cargo space. Unfortunately, the CRV Touring Hybrid does not have this feature because the battery does take up a little bit of space. But if you fold down the 6040 rear seats, then all trim levels of the CRV have over 2,000 liters of cargo space. And also an optional power tailgate. And since we're out here, why don't we take a quick look at the exterior styling? So on the back, it still has the signature vertical taillights. And if you notice, no tailpipes. They are actually hidden underneath the bumper. But the Touring Hybrid does have dual outlet exhaust. To the side, there are 17-inch steel wheels, 18-inch alloys, and 19-inch alloys. Of course, these depend on which trim level of the CRV you go for. And finally, in the front, it now has standard LED headlights, a new grille with chrome or black surround, and a new bumper design that is supposed to be a little bit more efficient, thus improving fuel economy. So by now, you're probably wondering what's under the hood. Well, the standard engine is a 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, and it now produces 190 horsepower and 179 pound-feet of torque. That peak torque figure is reached at 300 RPMs lower than last year's model, and is sustained all the way up to 5,000 RPMs. What this means is that this engine is a little bit more responsive and it has a little bit more pep, especially when you set off from a stop. The 1.5 turbo is mated with a CVT automatic transmission, and all-wheel drive is standard across all trim levels, except for the LX two-wheel drive. Now let's talk a little bit about the hybrid powertrain, which is finally available for the first time in the Canadian market on the CRV Touring. The engine is a 2-liter Atkinson cycle 4-cylinder, and it is aided by two electric motors. The total system output is 204 horsepower and 247 pound-feet of torque. This makes it the most powerful Honda CRV ever. The hybrid system has been refined for better highway speed performance with a maximum continuous driving speed of 185 km an hour. The hybrid powertrain can also tow up to 1,000 pounds. The hybrid engine is mated to an eCVT automatic and real-time all-wheel drive system. With climbing fuel prices, the 2023 Honda CRV makes the most of the gas in the tank. Here are the fuel economy ratings for both the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine and the hybrid engine. And no, that is not a typo. The hybrid does get better fuel economy in a city environment than on highways. 
The new CRV improves the driving dynamics thanks to a revised and stronger platform. The wheelbase has been extended by almost 41 mm for a smoother ride and better stability. Further aiding in the stability is a 10 mm wider track, that is the distance between the wheels, and a 15% stiffer chassis. The steering and suspension have also been updated to provide a sportier feel but without sacrificing the ride comfort. This is also one of the safest vehicles that Honda makes. A lot of the advanced driver and safety aids are standard, including automatic emergency braking, blind spot sensors, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, you name it. Most of it is standard. The only exception are the front and rear parking sensors. Those are not standard, but everything else standard across all trim levels. The 2023 Honda CRV starts at $34,790 for the LX two-wheel drive. As you work your way up the trims, the price increases to $43,390 for the EXL. The CRV Touring Hybrid starts at $48,890, but it is fully loaded with the only options being the paint and accessories that you may want to add to it. These are all the manufacturer suggested retail prices in Canadian dollars and do not include fees and taxes. There you have it. That is a look at the all new 2023 Honda CRV. If you want more information on it or you want to take it for a test drive, please do not hesitate to contact any one of our product advisors at one of our four locations, three in BC including Surrey Honda, Richmond Honda and Open Road Honda Burnaby, or our one location in Ontario, Open Road Honda Brampton. Thank you for watching and see you next time.